Welcome everyone to Park Brannock here in Waterford for this year's eagerly awaited County Intermediate Football Final between Ankill representing the East and the Western Champions, the Bricky Rangers. Both teams will line out the selected with no changes. At the moment the Bricky's team are gathered together in the middle of the field. The referee for today's game, Morris Condon, Morris from the Clashmore Club. While mean, meanwhile on the right hand side we've got the team from Kill, Eastern Champions. Emerged victorious over a strong challenge from Newtown last Saturday, where they beat Newtown. Right. Just coming up to starting time, half past one here in, in Walsh Park. Brickies have just lined out. First half, Brickies will play from left to right. They'll play into the city goal. There's absolutely no breeze here today. Very calm overcast conditions so the scene is set for what promises to be an intriguing county final kill mentors just having the last few words with the with the kill team um, as i said in the eastern final kill the merge victorious over a strong challenge from newtown who they beat an extra time while in the semi-final they beat pre uh, championship favorites bon mahan also an extra time and in the quarter final they had a hard down victory over belly duff while in the Western Championship, the Bricky Rangers emerged victorious. Facile victory over Kilgobnet in the Western Final while they beat Schlieve Goo quite readily in the semi-final. So the scene is set here in Walsh Park for this last football championship game of the campaign today. So there it is, the scene is set for this eagerly awaited county final. Kill will play from right to left in this opening half. Referee Morris Condon is ready to get proceedings underway. Substitutes move towards the dugouts. Bricky substitutes in the stand. Also the kill substitutes moving up to take their place in the stand. So the scene is set. Referee Morris Condon stands in the middle of the field. Pitch is quite soft out there, game is underway. Ball breaks in the middle of the field. Picked up by number eight for kill. Brendan Mooney. Mooney back to the centre half back. Centre half back, Mick Ahern. Mick, hand passes it back. Back to the wing forward, Peter Kerwin. Well blocked down by, by Dermot. Long ball in towards the full forward line. Back there first is Hearn O'Brien. Back to Richard Halpin. Out now to Corrick Shalou. Corrick way back in his own half back line. Low ball. Picked off the ground by Richard Halpin. Deemed to pick it off the ground. Free in, about 60 metres out. Number 12 for Kill, Peter Kerwin. Kerwin takes the short one. Help, Kill holding possession. Back to the corner back. Jim Murphy, the vet. High, lobbing, dangerous ball in around the 50 metre line. Hands go up. Ball breaks through. There's two or three players on the ground. Ball is scrambled clear by the full back line. Back there first is Johnny Cooney. High pass. Ball is on the ground, out over the line. Few fisty cups being exchanged there. Kill used 10 yards for indiscipline. So it's a free, free out for the Brickies. Paddy Nugent, the under 21 captain. Paddy plays it straight down. Picked back there again. Dominant play early on by the centre half back, Mick Ahern. Mick, dangerous searching ball in towards the full forward. The full forward. Kylie, Kylie has it, the captain, Peter Kylie, man with the left leg, meets better with the shoulder, deemed unfair, free in for kill, chance for the first score of the game. Free in, this one is going to be taken by Peter Kerwin, Peter the physio, about 20, 20 metres out, 
halfway between the sideline and the goal post. It's the chance for the opening score. Almost two minutes have elapsed in the opening half. Peter is going to kick this one from his hand. Morris Condon not happening. Few officials there just behind the goal post. He's ushering him to the side. So here it is. First chance of a score for Kill. For Kill. It looks good from here. It's swinging. Yes. Over the bar. Good score there by the physio, Peter Kerwin. Kill lead by one point to no score. Good start. Good start made by Kill. Connor. Conor Fitzgerald, man who celebrated his 30th birthday there recently. The electrician with Pepsi about to take this kick out. He places the ball on the tee. It's noticeable early on. Brickies are playing a third midfielder. Conor McGrath is operating around the midfield. Kick out from Conor. Out towards. Dermot knocks it down. Picked up out there by number 10. Niall Hennessy. Niall Hennessy plays it along the ground. Free for kill. Mickey Herden going to take it. Mick about 55 metres out. Far side of the field. With that well educated left leg. So looks as though it's going to be a mighty kick by land landing around the edge of the square. Could hop. It's a goal! Fisted in. Brilliant start by Kill. Hesitancy in the full back line there. Kill have made a mighty start here. Four points up inside the first two minutes. That one, the touch again, I think, by the physio, Peter Kiley. Fantastic start by Peter. Kill lead 1 1 to no score. Bricky's have it all to do here. They've started very tentatively. So here we are, Conor Fitzgerald with the kick out. Kick is a, it's a low one. Makes out towards Dermot O'Neill. Dermot O'Neill. Long ball down by Dermot. Breaks down towards Max Scanlon. Max Scanlon lays it straight out to Shane McGrath. Shane McGrath. Good cross field ball. Back to. Looks a good kick. It's gone, to the, gone, gone wide. Olin Casey there. Or was it David Hickey? David Hickey, the captain there. Good overlapping, but the finish left a bit. First wide for... The kick out. Aidan Whelan to take the kick out for Kill. The edge of the square. Aidan, out around the middle of the field. Number nine. Number nine there took the ball well. Shake evens, but referee blew the whistle. Looks as though the referee has got injured. Peter Kiley's physio skills could be required here yet. Yes. No, he's, he's recovered again. He's going to throw in the ball. Between Olin Casey and... Olin Casey fails to hold the ball. Breaks to Shane McGrath. Shane McGrath, low ball. Out towards... Max Scanlon, Max Scanlon has the ball. Crossfield ball. Picked up by Peter Kiley. Kill playing a possession game, short passing to Mick Ahern. Mick, the architect of several attacks, breaks up towards Johnny Cooney. Johnny knocks it down, picked up by Olin Casey. Casey is fouled. Number 15 there, referee having a few words with Anton Lennon. David Hickey, the captain, to take this one. Bricky's badly need a score. Six minutes have six minutes gone in the first half. Plays the low ball onto Shane McGrath, onto David Hickey. David on the overlap. Max Cannon is loose inside. Searching ball. Max Cannon pushed to the ground there, but holds the ball. Back to Andrew Murphy. Andrew kicks straight at the goal, picked up by the goal. He clears it out to number five. Niall Flynn, Niall Flynn soloing out. Trun the ball there, yes, team to foul the ball. Trun the ball up in his hand. Give away possession very badly there, 9-9. Oh, jeez. Not a free for Brickies. 
indiscipline is costing the kill defence a bit of. So it's a chance for Andrew Murphy to open the account here for the Bricky Rangers. Bricky's could do with a score. About 22 metres out, five or six yards left of centre. Andrew Murphy. Over the bar, first score for the Bricky Rangers. They're on the score sheet. 1-1 one, one to one pint. Once again, Aidan Whelan, the UCC student. Aidan putting the ball up on the tee for this kick out. Seven and a half minutes gone. Kick drops a bit short. Nobody is moving for it. Big midfield, Shea Havens. Big high. Out comes Shiner. Shiner is there first. Holds the ball, safe as could be. Passes it on towards Richard Halpin. Halpin. Straight to the captain. Back to Paddy Nugent. Paddy. Diagonal ball towards Conor McGrath. Conor pushed in the back. Conor's foul there by Niall Flynn. Ball is played out towards Andrew Murphy. Andrew goes highest. Drops it. Picked up. Max Ganlon flicks it on to Shane McGrath. Shane holds the ball. Support behind. Back to Max Ganlon. Beaten by number 10. Ray Hennessy. Niall Hennessy. Niall deemed to over carry the ball. Yes, a lot of talk there from number nine. He could be in trouble here, Shea Heavens. He's refereeing the game as well as playing, so. Low ball. Out towards the roving midfielder, Olin Casey. Great, great overlapping by Kieran O'Brien. The man scored two points in the semi final. Kick from. Wasteful there from second wide for Bricky Rangers. Second wide there from Kieran O'Brien. Kick out again, Aidan Whelan. This one is out slightly left, aiming for the big man, Shea Heavens. Super fielding by Shea. Great diagonal ball. First over is Kieran O'Brien. Great man with great speed. Flicks it on in front. Ball breaks, picked up by number eight. Brendan Mooney. Mooney takes a quick one. Out to Hennessy. Niall Hennessy. Son of Tommy. Tommy Niall kicks it wastefully out over the sideline. Line ball for the Bricky Rangers. Taken fairly quickly. Shane McGrath. Shane, low ball. Poor ball from Shane out over the sideline. Both teams have kicked away possession very easily there in the last minute or so. So once again, Mick Ahern to take this. Mick, low ball also out over the sideline. That's the last three kicks have all went astray. Must be the fact that so close to Christmas, a lot of wasteful kicking. Low ball. Failed to be. Dropped again by Shane McGrath. Picked back to Mick Ahern. Mick, pivotal in a lot of the attacks. In behind the defence. Searching for the captain, Anthony Kiley. Anthony Kiley has the ball. Anthony, will he swing it across? Well blocked down. But it goes back to Shea Heavens. Shea Heavens trying to go in. He's gone past one man. Took a bit too much out of the ball. Picked up back there by Paddy Nugent. Paddy looking for support. On to David Hickey. Hickey on towards... Bricky's moving the ball well. Connor McGrath. Connor, low ball. Out towards searching for Max Scanlon. Max Scanlon has the ball. On towards Andrew Murphy. Andrew has it. Hit Andrew. Oh no. Beaten by the full back, Brian Mooney. Back back to Mick Ahern. Mick. Seems to have the extra man there. Nobody seems to take up Mick Ahern. Johnny Cooney a bit over avaricious there. Dropped there by number 20. Shake Evans. High ball. Hands go up. Breaks down. Picked up by number 20. Ball breaks to the ground. 
Hand pass back out, back to the captain. David Hickey, David on a bit of so blocked down again by the big man. Never try. Big man could go for the score. Poor effort. Kick picked up. Seems to be a push in the back there. Johnny Cooney. Quick one on to David Hickey. Out towards midfield. To O'Neill. Dermot O'Neill. Dermot. Plays a long ball towards Max Scanlon. Max Scanlon's out first. Plays it back into Shane McGrath. Good ball. Now a chance to stretch the. Max Scanlon picks up the. Foul there. Referee gives him the advantage to Casey. On to Andrew Murphy. Andrew, too much shot passing here by the Brickies. Gives away possession. Very wasteful. Mick Heron, Mick. Diagonal ball picked up by number five, Niall, Mur Niall Flynn. Flynn is beaten by Richard Halpin. Off Richard Halpin, out over the line. Line ball for kill. The early scores. Scores have dried up since the first few minutes. Fergal Whelan, Fergal. The machinist to take this. The middle of the field. Off his left foot. Goes for height. Down towards Johnny Cooney. Knocked down. Picked up there. Picked up back there by Paddy Nugent. Pushed in the back. Johnny Cooney is back there. Johnny pays it back towards David Hickey. On to Paddy Nugent. On to Carrick Shalou. Carrick plays it over to Shane McGrath. Shane McGrath. Will he try and... For Andrew Murphy. Andrew's on the ground. The full back is still standing. That's Brian Mooney. Been tackled by Chile. Back into Brendan Mooney. Mooney finds the corner back. Jim, Jim Murphy. Murphy back to Mickey Hearn. Intercepted brilliantly by Conor McGrath. Conor McGrath can't pass two men. He's going straight through. Conor McGrath's on a solo run. This could be business. Takes his kick. A poor finish. Poor finish there. Bricky's very wasteful. Great run there by Conor McGrath, but seemed to take the wrong option. Third wide for the Brickies. It's on the scoreboard, it matters. Kill 1-1, one, one, Brickies 1 pint. Three wides for the Brickies, no wide jet for kill. 14 minutes have elapsed in the opening half. Aidan Whelan with the kick out. Again aiming for this left-hand side, out towards the big man, Heavens. Well, outfielded that time by Casey. Casey flicks it on to Carrick. Carrick, Chilu, where's Chile is making the run? Carrick plays the low ball, in towards Shane McGrath. Shane McGrath turns onto his left foot. And Shane again, in towards Chile. Chile is on the ground, fouled, free in. Yes, indiscipline is costing kill back there. Robo over robust tattle by the cornerback, Jim Murphy. And he, not happy with the referee's decision, so he just makes the task a lot easier for Andrew Murphy. Should be second pint, yes, second score for Brickies. That's Andrew Murphy's second pint. Once again, Aidan Whelan with the kick out. 1-1 one, one to two pints. Kick out again. Aim towards the big man. Hands go up, break it down, flicked on. Picked up by Niall, by Flynn. Flynn plays it out to Niall Hennessy. Niall Hennessy's going on the solo and he's been pursued by Kieran O'Brien. Two very fast players. Very close to the sideline. Two hops. Gets away with it. Plays a low ball. In towards the... Picked up inside there by... Flynn. On his left leg. Well blocked down. Breaks towards Casey. Casey a chance to turn. Terrible ball from Casey. Many other options. Knocks it on. Picked up by Jim Murphy back there. The delivery is too slow from the middle of the field from the Brickies. Once again, back down... On to Brendan Mooney. Mooney plays a high ball in towards it. It's gone inside the full back line. Out comes Connor. Goalie should make this. Holds the ball. Hand passes it away to Paddy Nugent. Paddy. Clicks it on to David Hickey. He's fouled. Quick play. On towards Dermot O'Neill. O'Neill. Looking for Andrew Murphy. Andrew has it. Finding difficulty in holding it. Still fine. Andrew drops the ball and fouls his man. Poor handling there by Andrew. Good ball in. Mick Ahern again. Mick, one of the dominant players on the field. To his mid to Brendan Mooney. Mooney plays it up. Great, great reading there by Pardy. Pardy Nugent. 
Pawdy, long kick down towards Chile. Chile knocks it down to Shane McGrath. Shane McGrath plays a cross field ball. Picked up there by Shea, Shea, Shea Evans. Shea Evans, high ball into the full forward. The full forward is John Power. Back towards the physio, Peter Kerwin. Kerwin plays the ball in through the centre. Knocked down well by Johnny Cooney. Johnny holds it well. Number 20, a bit over robust there, Andrew Power. Killer is still the number 11, I think, is the captain. I think he's also trying to referee the game at the moment. Referee Morris Condon having trouble with his pencil. Meanwhile, it's David Hickey. David Hickey. Terrible free from David Hickey. Straight to Niall Hennessy. Niall Hennessy, chance of a score. Faced by Kieran O'Brien. Niall trying to go through him. Hops the ball. Big high. Yes, first wide of the day for Kill. Both teams finding it very difficult to settle here. Still 1-1 one, one to 2 points. 18 minutes, 30 seconds gone in the first half. Kick out again by Conor Fitzgerald. Conor long ball to the middle of the field. Hands go up, breaks down. Picked up back there by Casey. Low ball to Shane McGrath. Shane McGrath back towards Dermot O'Neill. O'Neill. Low ball towards Max Ganlon. Max Ganlon holds it back to Dermot O'Neill. Plays the ball into Andrew Murphy. Will Andrew have a run at the full back? First chance, no. Too much over passing here in the bricky forward line. Breaks down again. Lennon takes it out. The corner back. Heading towards the sideline. First time play. Paddy Nugent gets in the leg. Very good. On to Corrock. Back now. Brickies are beginning to move. Low ball in towards Dermot O'Neill. Great ball to Dermot. Options outside. Chile is coming. He's on his favourite left leg. Back to Shane McGrath. Chile takes the kick. It's over the bar. Great score from Chile. Brickies are beginning to move the ball a bit better at this stage. Not before time. Great score there from Chile. First score of the game and first score of the Brickies from play. 1-1 one, one to three points. It's down to one point. Aidan Whelan. Takes it to the middle of the field. The four midfielders rise. Knocked down again. Picked up by the physio. Peter Kerwin. Peter going across field. Going past one, past two. He's a bit like a rugby player, Peter. Took about 20 steps with the ball there. Ball is played again towards Max Scanlon. He's out first. He's been out first every time so far. Flicks it on. Back to Shane McGrath. Shane on towards Connor. Connor has the ball. Connor McGrath having a run at the defence. He's looking for a score. It looks a great one. Great score by Conor McGrath. Now the Brickies are beginning to play football. This is what we know they can play. First score from Conor. Conor, the minor star of this year. Max Scanlon has just got panned by number two over there, but the referee has just spotted it. Number two looks in trouble. That's Liam Lennon. Referee, I'm sure, will have more than stern words with Liam here. A complete blow off the ball. Deliberate strike, yellow card for number two. So there it is, sides are level. Just 21, just over 21 and it's got in the opening half. Kick out again. Mighty height towards the middle of the field. The big man rises up. The ball breaks. Picked up there by the big man, Keevans. Keevans passes it to the physio. Kerwin. Kerwin being pursued. Being fouled. Freeing. Looks like a ticking for Olin Casey. So it's a free. Free in for the Brickies. Free in for Kill. 50 metres out. Slightly left of centre. Once again, it's the physio. Peter Kerwin.
Just over 50 metres out. Can he put Kill back in front? Won't go direct, everybody is coming, ball fisted out. Niall Hennessy is out, chance of a score for Niall, having difficulty picking it up. Being pursued by Wunner. Kicks away possession, very easy there, great play by Shiner. Back in, towards Richard Halpin. Halpin plays the low ball to Shane McGrath, Shane forgets the ball. Mick, Mick Ahern, Mick with his left, cross to the physio. The physio plays a quick ball into the, towards number nine, Shea Heavens. Heavens drops the ball very easily. Bricky's working away again. Olin Casey out towards Andrew Murphy. Will Andrew have a go here? Low ball towards Mark Scanlon. Mark Scanlon has possession. So Mark Scanlon taking on the cornerback. Kicks great score by Mark Scanlon. The Brickies are beginning to move. First point of the day for Mark. Great ball by Andrew Murphy. Brickies forward seemed to have the speed on the kill backs if they could run at him a bit more. The last five scores have fallen to the Bricky Rangers. The last three from play. 23 minutes, 35 seconds gone in the first half. Once again, Aidan Whelan brings out the ball. The Brickies are in front for the first time in this game. Took them 23 minutes to get there. Kick out for kill. Aidan Whelan. Another big high aim for that big man in the middle of the field. Keevans, the ball is broken down. Corrick Shalou foraging. Corrick plays the ball. Again, out towards Max Scanlon. Max Scanlon again. Will he take on Lennon? Plays it into Conor McGrath, the speed merchant. Conor is there first. Holds the ball. Chance of another score for the Brickies. This would be a big one. Oh, slightly to the right and narrowly wide. It's noticeable the Brickies are moving the ball a lot quicker in the last 10 minutes or so. Territorially, they're on top, but it's on the scoreboard that it matters. That's the fourth wide for the Ricky Rangers. We've had one for kill. Kick out again, this time from the edge of the square. Aiden Whelan to take it. Again, aim for the big man. Ball breaks down. Backs and forwards. Andrew Murphy is contesting. Andrew is there first. Difficulty in getting it up. Andrew's cogs don't seem to be the best today. Line, linesman. Kill ball. Mick Ahern to take it. The man with the trusty left leg. Mick. Big going route one. Johnny Cooney is the hands in the air. Nobody holds it. Shiner is there. Shiner drops it to Cooney. Cooney won't drop. Foul. Johnny Cooney doing very well at cornerback. Soundness personified back there. Johnny Cooney. Max Scanlon again making the run. Handling has been good. Back to Shane McGrath. Shane gone through. This looks good. On to Casey. Dermot O'Neill on towards Chile. Chile, who's got the ball? Chile is inside his man. Yes, 50 for kill. The first 50 of the game. About 10 yards in from the near goal post. A lot of runs being made, but it looks as though he's going route one. Nobody inside at the edge of the square for the Brickies. It's not got the distance, it's swinging in. The goalie comes out. Seems to charge with the ball. Hand passes it out to number seven, out to the wing back, Fergal Whelan. The machinist, Fergal going on a bit of a solo run. On towards Flynn, Flynn. Gives it back to Whelan. Whelan drops the ball. Picked up there by Max Scanlon. Max Scanlon heading... He's on the ground, but he's not fouled. Holds possession, gets it back. Walked well, walked out to Shane McGrath. Shane McGrath to Andrew Murphy. Andrew, a chance for a point. He kicks. Again gone to the left and gone wide. Bricky's very wasteful up there. Fifth wide of the first half. Lead by the bare minimum. Five points to 1-1. One, one. 27 minutes have gone. Kick out again, Aidan Whelan, by far the busier of the two goalies. This time he looks as though he's gone out the right hand side. Kick breaks to the master down. Corrick Shalou, Corrick hand passed it to Shane McGrath. Shane is on a soul run. He might, where's he going? Kicks off his left leg. Terrible kick from Shane. Very wasteful from Shane McGrath there.
Brick it. All these wasted chances could prove very costly at the end for Brickies. Getting well on top in the outfield exchanges, but not on the scoreboard, and that's where it matters. Kick out again, Aidan Whelan. High ball out towards that big man again. The hands go up, it breaks down. Mickey Hearn dominating at centre half back. Great ball into the forward line, picked up by 50. He's on the ground. Anton Lennon. Good overfield. How come, how come Shiner? What a player Shiner is. Gives it to Conor McGrath. Conor McGrath turns the fence into attack. Aim for Andrew Murphy. Andrew roving. In towards, cross towards Mark Scanlon. Who's there first? Corner back. Not a great ball. Drop down. Half blocked. Out comes. Blocked out by Johnny Cooney. On towards Andrew Murphy. Andrew. Silken skills from Andrew. Played a simple ball to Hickey, the captain. The captain plays it over towards Mark Scanlon. Mark Scanlon. He's got an overlap, yes. Here comes Casey. Gives it back over. We have a chance here for Dermot O'Neill. Could he kick a point? Again to the left. The wides are really mounting up here for the Brickies. Completely dominating the outfield exchanges, but not on the scoreboard. That's seven wides for the Brickies. Two, four, six, or is it eight? My figures. We've one wide for Kill, but Kill still have that goal and one point. The Bricky Rangers, five points. We're entering the last minute of the first half. Kick out again. Aidan Whelan. Again aimed at the big man. Hands go up. Breaks again. Richard Halpin dispatches it again. Spread towards Mark Scanlon. Lays it back again towards Dermot O'Neill. On to Conham. Into Mark Scanlon. They need to get it across. Here we have a chance now. Big chance for David Hickey, the captain. Would he finish with a score? He does! Great score by great score by the captain. A valuable score for the Brickies just before half time. David Hickey. Brickies a patient build up there proved very beneficial with a pint from the captain. An inspiring pint, we hope, for the Brickies there as we just move into stoppage time. 30 minutes and 20 seconds gone. Six pints to 1-1. One, one. Aidan Whelan, Brickies haven't scored since the fourth minute. They might get a score before half time. The captain, Anthony Kiley, sends him on attack. He's going on a solo run. His left leg being pursued by one, by two. He's still going. He's, he's kind of running out of space. Yes, he lays it back to the physio. Peter Kerwin, out near the sideline, being pursued by two, three Bricky men. Overpowered by the Brickies, David, David Hickey, doing very well at, corner, at centre back. Back to Johnny Cooney, back to Hickey. Hickey drops the ball, I'm sure he'll regain it. He does, county under 21 player. Knocked off the kill man out over the sideline. A line ball for the Brickies. Back to Shiner, dangerous ball. Flicks it on towards Kieran O'Brien. Kieran O'Brien gets possession. Kieran brings possession out to Pardee Nugent. Pardee on a solo run. Pardee, almost foul but not foul. Gives possession away to Dermot O'Neill. On again towards... Richard Halpin. Halpin turns the fence into an attack, but he just kicks the ball. In towards Chile. Chile has he the speed to go there. Beaten by number two, Chile. Lennon is there first, being pursued by Chile. Back to Mick Ahern. Referee blows a halt. Almost 32 minutes gone. Bricky's lead at half time, six points to 1 1. Everything to play for in this county final. Okay, ref is ready for the second half of this intermediate football county final here in Welsh Park. Bricky Rangers lead, six points to 1-1 one, one at half time, everything to play for. Referee Morris Condon goes for height, the big high ball, breaking down to Dermot O'Neill. 
High ball. Showing out for first out is Mark Scanlon. Gets position. Flicks it on to Conor McGrath. Conor, low ball in towards Chile. Chile on his favourite left leg. Having difficulty. Gone past one man. Flicks it in towards Andrew Murphy. Andrew's coming across. Chance of a goal. No. Blown off the line. A goal chance. Cleared off the line there by the great chance of a goal there for the Brickies in the first minute of the second half. This might inspire Kill. Out to number seven, Fergal Whelan. Whelan, there's a high ball towards Richard Halpin. Halpin gets his hand to it. David Hickey. Hickey and Mark Scanlon is out first. Mark holds the ball. Mark is fouled, pulling his hand there. Quick free kick. And towards the captain, David Hickey. Hickey might run at the defence. Hickey's going on a solo run. Lays it back to Conor McGrath. This man can run at any defence. He's still going. Seems to be fouled. Flicks it in towards Mark Scanlon. Mark Scanlon is shot towards the corner forward. Corrock kicks it over the bar. A chance of a goal, but the Brickies take a point. Brickies begin to play with a bit more fluency in the last 10 minutes of the first half and beginning to start the second half. First point of the day for Corrock Shalou. Five of the six Brickie forwards have scored. Seven points to 1-1. One, one. Bricky Rangers last won the Intermediate Championship way back in 1986, 20 years ago. Three of today's players weren't even born the day they won it. Ball breaks down again, picked up by Shane McGrath. And towards Richard Halpin. Halpin is going on a solo run. He's still going. He's still going. He passes it into Andrew Murphy. Andrew, will he take a point? He will. Come on, Bricky Rangers. Now they're beginning to move the ball. Great score. Great run by Richard Halpin. Spotted Andrew McGrath. Andrew Murphy's first score from play. Number 17's first job was to chase Richard Halpin up the field. Richard Dooley responded with a brilliant pass into Andrew. Andrew and off his left leg. Deadly with both feet. Kick out again. Aidan Whelan. The kick out from the 20 metre line. Out towards the middle of the field. Fisted on again. The brick is moving a lot better now. Chile is out first. Chile. Kicks the ball. High ball in behind the defence. Taken up. Oh, it's a... Could be dangerous. Shit back towards Andrew Murphy. Andrew having difficulty. Seems to be fouled there, but referee gets a second. Yes. Free in. In discipline again. Casting full back there. Bri Brian Mooney. Another chance for Andrew Murphy to add to his total. Andrew already has scored three points in this final. Two from... Two from freeze and one from play. Kill look to the bench. A chance to open up a five point lead for Andrew Murphy. Straight and true from Andrew. Pint number four. Brickies have started the second half very well. Three pints in three minutes. And they've also missed the chance of a goal. Once again, Aidan Whelan comes out. Andrew Murphy, the scorer of the last one, the apprentice electrician. High ball again, Conor McGrath gets up his hand, breaks it back, back towards Olin Casey. Casey steadies himself, picks it up, he's very close to the sideline. Out over the line ball for kill. The teacher, Mick Ahern to take it, the centre half back. Mick, down along the line. Looks for the corner forward. The corner forward has the ball. That's, he's the captain, Anthony Kiley. Anthony Kiley to the... Lays it back to Mick Ahern. Mick on his left leg. Looks a chance for a score from Mick. He's gone for plenty of height. Looks, looks as though it won't have the distance. Picked up back there. Free out for the Brickies. Brickies seem to have men all over the place at the moment. Possession is the name of the game. Low ball down towards Chile. Chile flicks it back to Shane McGrath. Shane, low ball into Andrew Murphy. Andrew's gone inside the fullback. Andrew should have the. There they go, the sprint is on. Mooney and Murphy. M and M. Murphy is fouled. There should be a free. Referee gives no free there. Mooney has the ball. Plays the ball. Nobody out there. Three, four bricky players there first. Shane McGrath in towards Max Scanlon. Max Scanlon, will he go for a pint? Flicks it back towards Corrick. Corrick might put it over the bar. Way off target by Corrick. First wide of the second half for the Brickies. 
Wide number eight for the Brickies. They've also got nine points. Kill have got still just a lone wide and won one in the first four minutes. Kill haven't scored for 31 minutes. Five minutes gone in the second half. Number 16 is warming up for Kill on the sideline. John Kiley. Kick out again. Anton Whelan. Aidan Whelan. High ball to the middle of the field. Hands go up. Knock down. Conor McGrath. Plays the ball on the ground. Towards Shane. Flicks it away. Picked up by Mick Ahern. Mick has worked his socks off. Back towards the centre half. Back to Mammoth into county experience. Flick back again. Back towards... Shiner, Shiner to Hickey, Hickey to Connor McGrab. Bricky's beginning to show a bit more freshness now as Connor turns the fence into attack. High ball looking for Mark Scanlon, just beaten for it. Picked up by the corner back. Throws it back again to Mick Ahern. Mick, low ball. On towards the midfielder, Shea Heavens. Back to the substitute, 17. 17. Connor Kennedy back again. Shea Heavens. Heavens going on a bit of a sore run. He goes for a kick. Stupid free given away by the Brickies. Chance for a score here for Kill. Bit of indiscipline there. Nine points to 1 1. Brickies lead. Chance to reduce the deficit. Six. Nearly seven minutes gone in the second half. Anthony Kiley, the captain, to take it. Straight and through over the black spot. First score for the centre forward and captain. Anthony, the builder. Substitute coming on, number 16. John Kiley not coming on quite yet. He's ready for action. Nine points to one two. Connor Fitzgerald. Low ball out towards Dermot O'Neill. Dermot O'Neill and to Richard Halpin. Halpin plays it low to Shane McGrath. Shane McGrath low again towards Mark Scanlon out near the sideline. Keeps it. Ball wasn't gone, referee didn't appear to be gone, but the linesman wouldn't have a kill connection, I don't know. Straight possession to Conor McGrath. Another man looking. David Hickey. David, county under 21 player and captain here for the Bricky Rangers. Won a Munster under 21 medal three years ago with the Waterford under 21 footballers. He was then a goalkeeper. He's now operating at the pivotal centre half back position. Again out towards Max Scanlon. Max Scanlon turns first. He's beaten for that ball by shoulder. Great shoulder by Dermot O'Neill. Ball fisted on the ground. Brickies are fighting hard for the ball. Conor Mc... Mooney comes out. Out towards the physio. The physio is paced by three men. Johnny Cooney be better off going back down the line. Brendan Mooney to take it. No, gives it back to Mick Ahern. Mick has taken practically every free out of the half back line. Mick goes for height down along the centre. It hops back towards Shiner. Soundness personified at fullback. On towards Kieran O'Brien. Off Kieran out over the line. Niall Hennessy to take this one, no the physio. Kerwin, Kerwin. Kill begin to get a bit more into it. Will he go for height? He goes for height. High lobbing ball. Hands go up. Breaks down, picked up. Locked down brilliantly. Out they come, Richard Halpin. Clears it, fails to get it away. Back towards number eight, Brendan Mooney. Mooney kicks, looking for the corner forward. A high ball, broken down by Paddy Nugent. Throw up ball. Referee Morris Condon is going to throw this one up. Kill last won this championship way back in 96. So it's 10 years ago since they were last successful in the intermediate title while Brickies go back 20 years. As we said, three of the Bricky forwards today weren't born when they last won the championship.
Just over 10 minutes gone in the second half. Ball breaks up, hands go up, breaks down, picked up by Kieran O'Brien. Seems to be on a solo run. He's low ball towards Chile, out towards the sideline. Chile pushed in the back. Appear to be pushed in the back. Few decisions going kills way at this moment. Low ball into the physio. The physio has the ball. Will he turn the fence into attack? Looking for an overlap. Finds everything, everything seems to be channeled through Mick Ahern, the teacher. Teacher plays a great ball out to Paddy Nugent. Paddy won't drop that. Holds the ball. Fouled. Free out for the Rickies. There's only two players inside the kill 50 metre line. Low ball. Will they try the long ball? Out towards Andrew Murphy. Andrew climbs up, fails to hold on to it. Off the kill, man. Bricky ball. Johnny Cooney, look at Shane McGrath looking for the ball. Shane. On to Andrew Murphy. Andrew plays a high lobbing ball. Chile is in there, but no. Max Scanlon robs him. Great ball on to Conor McGrath. Ah, come on, let's. Good play there by Max Scanlon, good defending. Bricky forwards working very hard off the ball. Andrew Murphy, Chile fancies this one. Corrock, wasteful from the Brickies. They should have uh, take, take their time and go second wide of the second half and nine in total. Kick out, kill of nobody to retrieve behind the ball, behind the goal. Very bad tactics by the kill back room team. The goalie has to retrieve the ball from the terrace. Rarely we see that in the county final. We see it here today. Aidan Whelan. In absolutely no rush. Kicks to the middle of the field. Mickey Hearn rises up. The ball breaks down. Brendan Mooney. Brendan being pursued by... Plays it to the physio. The physio looking for a gap through the defence. Paddy Nugent is back there. Ball breaks out. Pa Kicked away. Who's on to it first? Number 13. 13 plays it back to Mickey Hearn. Mickey Hearn, left leg, back again towards Peter Tarpey. Brother of Julie, back again towards number nine, Heavens. Heavens' kick is high. It's not got the... <laughs> David Hickey brings out the ball, the captain. Solo's out, turns the fence into attack. Will he look for Andrew Murphy? Bad kick by David. We need a block down here. Hick is on. Richard Halpin. Shea Heavens, mighty kick from Shea. In the square, free out. That ball hung very long in the air. Number 16 has centered the fry. John Kiley is going on for... Number 16, John Kiley is in. He's going to goal, the goalie has been brought outfield. John, the substitute goalie, Aidan Whelan, is moving into the attack. Wearing 16. Almost 15 minutes gone in the second half. Shiner plays the short one. Picked up by Conor McGrath. Conor out near the sideline. Low ball. Max Gellin in. Come on, Max. Max drops the ball. Picked up Andrew Murphy. Bit of a charge there by Mick. Referee not happy. It looks like there could be... Mickey Hearn and Shane McGrath there. Number 16 only out from the goal. Bricky's a do well to show the strength. When you're in front, you don't... There's a mentor on the field and that man shouldn't be on the field. Get him on the camera. There's a mentor on the field who shouldn't be there. Yes, the selectors. There's a man wearing the green shirt. Hey, hey, look at the belter. Get him on camera. That's Watch him. 
There's a man there with, there's a baldy man out there who shouldn't be on the field. He's landed a punch. Yes, he's gone back to the sideline. Bricky's to do better to show discipline. There's a man on the field. Referee having trouble with the kill backroom team here. There's definitely he's taken the right man's name anyway. He wasn't a player, he was a 16th man in for kill. Looks as though it'll be a throw in ball, throw in ball. The linesman moves into flag where the. Referee should throw in the ball. What's happening here next, we don't know. Morris Condon having a chat with two players, centre forward Shane McGrath, centre back Mick, Mick Ahern. Both being reprimanded by referee Morris Condon. <laughs> 17 minutes gone in the second half. Two players about to receive yellow cards. Yes. And third man being called, yes. The man with the white boots. Red card. Man sent off there. Kill have, killer down to 14. Making the task a small bit tougher and we have a hot ball. That's the cap. The captain has gone off. Anthony Kiley, the builder. Ball goes up, breaks down. Takes a lot of steps. A lot of tearing and free for kill. High ball. Oh. Bricky slow it down. Onto Karak Shalou. Karak back to the captain. David Hickey, here to be fouled, gives it to Shane McGrath. Shane McGrath working at a cross field. We have an overlap here. Casey playing route one. Bad ball by Casey. Straight down towards Chile's corner. Carrick Shalou chasing. Andrew Murphy is back chasing. They have to keep chasing. Carrick is there as well. Twist. Turns fouled. Kicks the ball, finds a loose player. Bricky's not marking up very well at the moment. They're coming back at him. Conor McGregor gets in a fist, but beaten this time by Heavens. Shake Heavens. Shake Heavens holds the ball quite a while. Pisses it back to Mick Ahern. Mick Ahern. Well, about 20 metres out. Mick kicks. Dangerous ball. Out comes the captain, Hickey. Dragged and foul. Free out for the Bricky Rangers. The game has gone very... Lopsided at the moment. No pattern of play. Shot, shot kick out. Picks out. Pauri. Pauri. Low ball on towards Corrock. Corrock back to Shiner, the fullback. On again to Shane McGrath. Shane McGrath is on towards Dermot O'Neill. O'Neill into Chile. Chile has the ball. What will he do? He passed it on to Sh Shane back to Chile. Chile is dancing and dithering and back again. It's all tactics at this stage. On towards... Richard, Richard Halpin, on again to Carrick Shalou. Plays the high ball in towards Andrew Murphy. Andrew, fielded well by Mooney, the fullback. The fullback is coming out with the ball. Chile stands there, on towards number four. Jim, on to Hennessy. Hennessy being pursued. High ball, three bricky players there. Johnny, Johnny Cooney holds the ball. Passes it to Dermot O'Neill. O'Neill, the man who played football with Derry a number of years ago. Out towards Max Scanlon. Max Scanlon has it, holds, he's clobbered straight away free in for the Brickies. Possession is the name of the game. 
the man that fouled him has lost 10 yards for indiscipline referee is moving in the ball indiscipline has cost killed dearly here today Number 17 is warming up for the Bricky Rangers, Fergus Nugent. One of four Nugents on the panel. Under 21, Paddy playing very well at corner back here today. Twenty-one and a half minutes have gone in the second half. Nine points to one two. The first aid crew are in. Jim McGrath, the manager, is in as well. Jim played on the last team to win way back in 86. His son, Connor is playing today. He wasn't born that day, but he's playing today, playing very well. Ball is broken down, picked up again. Mickey Hearn has played very well at centre-back for kill. They can't fault, they can't fault Mick. The big man, Heave Keevans has it. Keevans has it about 50 metres out. Low ball into the substitute. Hennessy, Hennessy, surrounded by three, four players. Keevans has it as well. He's going route one. Pass it into Hennessy. Bricky's finding it difficult to get it away. Brendan Mooney, back to Niall Hennessy. Hennessy, 50 metres out. On to number 16, the substitute. John Kiley. John Kiley back to Mick Hennessy. Mick. Mick Ahern, Mick, will he go for the diagonal ball? Yes, plays the short ball. They're coming again. Great lockdown. Free for the physio. Fergus Nugent is his replacement on the Bricky Rangers team. Fergus Nugent replaces. Willem Queeley, Willem did very well there today. Willem Chili Healy replaced. 23 minutes. A chance to reduce the deficit to three points. Gone to the right. Just a sec. Kill badly needed that score. Their second wide and their first wide of the second half after 23 and a half minutes. Connor Fitzgerald. Absolutely no rush with the kick out. Nine points to one two. It's quite a while since we had a score. The last score was a point from kill from a free. The kick out. High ball to the middle of the field. Hands are up. Breaks down. Throw ball. Referee Morris Condon. Conor McGrath's on the ground. Jay Evans is doing very well. Killer putting men forward. Brickies need to defend staunchly for the last five minutes. Conor McGrath looks to be in trouble. Brickies must be getting another substitute ready. Leg gone. John O'Connell very slow to act there. Seem to have a man in trouble. Is he going to walk it off? Mick Ahern. High ball. Who's in there? Taken there by Dermot O'Neill. Turns the fence. There's no one there. Andrew Murphy am I? Come on, Andrew. Get out there. Jim Murphy is there first. Yes, Corrock, on to Shane, on to Corrock, here's a chance for the Brickies, he's going straight through, he's still going, he's still going, into Mark Scanlon. <laughs> Penalty for the Brickies, Penalty for the Bricky Rangers, Mark Scanlon was clean through, taken out by the goalie, the first job the substitute goalie did was take out the corner forward as he went clean through. Penalty for the Brickies, a chance to wrap up this county final. Four minutes and 26 seconds left in the game. Andrew Murphy, the taker. Referee is having a word with his two linesmen. Andrew Murphy to take it. Will the 20 year gap be bridged? Time is quickly evaporating.
second red card of the day. That's Goalie made absolutely no effort to play the ball, just took the man. Red card for his troubles. Killer down to 13 players. The goalie still wants to go in for the penalty. Mustn't be a red card. Conor McGrath leaves the fray and in comes Ganger. Ian McCarthy makes a belated appearance. Ian Ganger McCarthy wearing 16. Andrew Murphy kicks it over the bar. Not Andrew's style, but today is the day for... Puts five between the team. Ten points to the Bricky Rangers. One, two. And Andrew Murphy's fifth pint of the day. Finney McCarthy is making a quick move. Willie Halpern ushers them from the dugout. Ball, kill in possession. Andrew Murphy, the electrician. There could be sparks flying tonight. Out towards... Kill on towards midfielder Keevans. Keevans passes it back to Bicky Hearn. Everything seems to be channeled through Mick. He's done Trojan work, but he kicks it straight. There's nothing there but an array of Bricky Rangers. Bricky's high ball out towards Ganger. Ganger's first touch. He's on it. Mark passes it into Mark Scanlon. Another kill, man. Way off the ball again. The physio could be in trouble here. A mile off the ball there from number 12, the physio. No, no effort to play the ball. Kill's discipline here today is very poor. He might be a physio, he should use his hands a bit better than that, but maybe that's the kind of physio he's going for. Man got off very lightly there with a the yellow card. Kill continue to breach the rules, but Cardiff Shalou steps ashore. Another substitute, Carrick has gone off and Mark Scanlon moving to the... Mark Nugent is on, the ball breaks to Vinnie McCarthy, back to Mark Nugent. Mark Nugent back to his brother Fergus. Fergus, possession is the name of the game. Kill continue, they persist with this fouling. One Nugent to another, Mark Nugent. Great ball in towards the corner forward. Corner forward is dancing, picked up again by Andrew Murphy. Another free for the Bricky Rangers. Bricky's are rampant. The cup is heading to the west, where it's... They've waited 20 years for this. Tonight there'll be magnificent celebrations. Tommy Powers to mention but one, the local. There'll be a night to remember up there tonight. I'm sure Christmas Eve will be good as well. Even Christmas Day. The celebrations will go into the new year. Brickies will be justifiably black playing senior football next year. The scoreline doesn't does scant justice to their monopoly here today. Ten points to one, two. We're into the last minute of the game. 29 minutes, 58 seconds have elapsed. Andrew Murphy about to score point number six. Andrew kicks, it's over the bar, he's hit the black spot. 11 points for the Bricky Rangers. It was a long year, it was a protracted intermediate campaign, but the cup is going to rest in the Bricky Valley tonight. The kick out again. We're into extra, we're into added time. Breaks out towards Fergus Nugent, ball breaks down. Vinnie McCarthy, picked up by Kill. Kill take a quick free. Overlapping, not taken from the proper spot. Brickies have a, it's like a rugby game, they have so many players behind the ball. But it's tactics that count on a day like today, it's not a day for pretty football. Number seven, Fergal Whelan. Man, he's tried his heart out today, the machinist. Kicks a high, high ball. Free in for, free in for kill. Number 14, the full forward, John Power, grounded unceremoniously there, it's a free in. Amazingly, Kill haven't scored a pint in 60 minutes of play from, from play. Peter Kerwin kicks. Looks good. 
So over the bar, a consolation score for Kill. 1 3 to 11 points. 31 minutes and 40 seconds gone. It's only seconds away from the final whistle. The captain returns the ball. The captain, the guard, the based in Mitchellstown, David Hickey. Inspirational there out throughout today's game. Got an inspirational point before half time when it was badly needed. The kick out. Connor Fitzgerald. Connor. Will he look for the accounts manager? Richard Halpin. Or will he go down the centre? High kick, there it is. The cup has gone to the Bricky Valley. Great scenes of emotion for the Brickies. The Brickies have emerged victorious. Great day for the Bricky Rangers. Bricky Rangers, 11 points, kill, 1-3. A five-point victory for the men, from, the men from the West. This year, every football title has been won by the teams in the Western Division. From senior right down to minor, all the adult championships. And that record was kept right here again today by the Bricky Rangers. Great scenes of jubilation at the final whistle. Also signs relief. They've waited a long time for this one. 20 years since they last won the West won the County Football Championship. Brickies are back in senior football next year. Supporters begin to move on to the field. Mickey Hickey has gone in. Mickey dances across the muck. Andrew Murphy was the game's leading scorer with six points. Yes, here they come, the victorious Bricky Rangers team. Led in by Karak Shalou. Here they come as they go up to receive their trophy. Yes, Karak leads them up, Paddy Nugent. David Hickey, the captain. Johnny Cooney, Mark Scanlon, Richard Halpin. Connor Fitzgerald. There they all go, Chile. Shane McGrath. Mark Nugent. Great day for the Bricky Rangers today. David Hickey receives the cup, the Intermediate County Cup, it's up in the air. 
Big shift from the Bricky Rangers. It'll be a big night in the valley tonight. Well done, David Hickey with the County Intermediate Trophy going back to the Ricky Valley for the first time in over 20 years. David about to get his photograph taken with uh, Pat Flynn, the presentation there. So there it is, Ricky Rangers County Intermediate Football Champions for 2006. Just about got the team there. Jimmy Murphy leads them, leads them down the steps, followed by wife Martina. Andrew with six points today. Fergus Nugent, followed by his brother Mark. Connor Fielding back again. Chile, great score there in the first half. Dermot, the pharmacist, passes down. Ganger, Connor McGrath. Well done, Connor. Connor. Sean Condon. Shiner passes down. Corrock. Richie Halpin. Mark Scanlon. There they come, Johnny Cooney making his way down. Great game there, a corner back from Johnny. All the substitutes moving down. Vinnie McCarthy, the man came back from Australia. Here they come, Paddy Nugent, the, under, the two captains coming down together, under 21 captain, Paddy Nugent, and intermediate captain. There's Andrew Murphy, leading scorer today with six points. Andrew, congratulations. Just one sec there. Well, what does today mean to uh. you? It means everything to me, everything to the lads. This is, I know it's a cup at the end of the day. Senior football is what we want. And, and that's the main thing. You've been a long time waiting for this. I said you won a monster oh. medal. Where does this stand in among all those achievements you had? You're under 21 with oh, water for you, it stands hurling medals. On top of the lot, I was only talking to Bimbo before the match. I was, I, I was nowhere near as nervous before, before the monster final as I was for this match. This, this means everything to me and to the club and to my family and to the supporters that turned up 23rd of December. Absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah, you must have yeah, been very worried after four minutes. We, 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 were, we, we were, we were, Stan, the first time we kind of got that, um, that start this year, but 
we knew now we kept talking to the lads keep the heads up and thankfully we got back into and you moved up you played some fantastic football there yeah, we played conditions were tough but you, you played and you got an inspirational point yourself just <laughs> before half time it put two between the teams very for, important for a change it was uh, I'm not usually on, this, on down that end of the field scoring but uh Whatever, it got the lads going. So and, uh, you'll be up there challenging in the senior football next year, please hopefully, God, in your rightful place. We'll have a nice Christmas now and we'll be back training early next year and we'll give it a go. It'll be a bit of a night tonight, I suppose. Uh, one or two nights. One or two nights. Or two nights. <laughs> okay, thank That's you funny. very much, Dave. Well, Jim, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, 20 years. 20 years. 20 well, years. how does it feel? Threatening com- long threatening comes at last. Is, is, are you back in your rightful place? Yeah, I think so. I think so. We only played one year on senior 1987. A very, a very, a very, a very poor start. You must be a bit worried yeah. after four minutes. Yeah, yeah. We usually start bad. Yes. But today, yes, today, today, today and, and it looked bad. Yes, I, I didn't think. What did we score? 11, 12 points. 11 points, I think. 11 points. I didn't, uh, think, I didn't think we scored 12 points in Luton. Well, and he also had nine wides. We had, we had, but still, Kill had two. Still, our forward played well. Yes, yes. Only for scoring forward, we can't beat can't and yeah. other than that now um, anything else on the match itself oh the, the lies with the players was that the, the toughest game you had this year no I said the toughest game was against Geraldines but that was the closest the game the closest actually. game yes. but physically I suppose today was today was oh, yes so but you stood up and were counted today we did there it is and there it is Jim thanks very much thanks for your the victorious team David Hickey being carried shoulder high there David Hickey being carried shoulder high there as they've paused for a photograph with the cup all players there, you know, Olin stu- strutting his stuff there in the middle of the field. There it is. Today, as, as Jim said, five of the six forwards scored from play today. Good achievement. Let me see if we can get... Yes. <laughs> there we have Chile and David to standing in for a few words. Well, how do you feel today? Very good. Mighty game. Bad start. Bad start, yeah. Probably a bit sleepy at the start, but very good comeback. When good you get comeback. a goal, a goal is worth more than three time, points this time of the year. Yeah, the time of the year is exactly, Tom, yeah. Time of the year, but fair play to them. They got six on so scores. Five of the six forwards scored from play today. That Big was, improvement that, as that well. Was, that was good, yeah. They, I was saying at half time that probably ten points would win it. Yes, yes. I was saying they, got, they, they got one extra. They, they got Eddie. one extra. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. In the last day, we're intermediate. Our back senior football after 20 oh, years. Well, yeah. what do you... The only thing is, say as it took the Rickies a long time to come back, and there's a lot of fellas trying a long time, and and this team, with the help of God, they'll they'll make it now, and they'll stay up, they'll they'll equip themselves well and see. They showed a bit of character today, a bad start. Bad and start. Conditions and, and, and good conditions, and it was a tough game, and and uh, I, I wouldn't envy it, Morris Condon. You were here 20 years ago. You're from Bim were playing. 86. It's nearly time to bury it. That's all I can tell you. You're back. You two sons playing today. Oh, you yeah. let the younger fellas in. Yeah. Well, what does it mean to you today? Uh-huh. Time to be forgetting about the old fellas, let the young fellas at it now. But it was a long time coming. Oh, you, you, Tough can, game. you better believe it. Huh? Tough game. Oh. Physical game, conditions not great. Small boys are men now. So there it is from Walsh Park here. Final score in this year's county intermediate final. Bricky Rangers, 11 points, kill 1 3. Australia, he was here. A woman here. And my son was playing 20 years ago, the last one. Last time ago, this woman's son, Ty Collins, he's out in Australia today. He's out in Sydney. I presume you'll be on with the result very shortly. They're after texting him already. Already he's been texted. And yes. what time would it be in Australia now? It's, well, it's in the middle of the night. But middle of the night, but he don't care. Middle of the day. Days like this, days like this. Nobody what did you think yourself? Great success Fantastic. for Brickies. 20 what? years, a long time coming. Johnny God, woman, and I wouldn't give up the Brickies for anything. Thank you very uh, much. Thank you. Look. Cheerio. <laughs> Happy cheer. Christmas to you all. So, Brickies. County champions for 2006 and a final score, Bricky Rangers, 11 points, kill 1-3. Thank you very much. Well, John, no, just relief, well, relief. No, no, you need relief. Well, what. John, no, what do you think today? Great winner, great winner. Best team won it. Long, long time waiting, well, long time coming, John. Yeah, I, nearly, I thought I was on the last team, I wasn't. Pardon? It was six years before that I was on the last team. You were on the team before last night. Like relief today, years. relief. It, it, it eluded me, it eluded me. It eluded you, yeah. 20 years ago. Great to be back in senior football. It's grand, it's grand. Lovely. Huh? They'll, they'll go places. And they'll go places. They'll hold their own they up will, there. They will, they will, mate. Played, they played well now today. They yeah. moved the ball well. What do you think? If they'll be fighting, they'll, they'll win that too. <laughs> so you're a happy man tonight. Oh, yeah. You'll have a few. We'll have a lot. you have a... 20 time. years, yes. 20, 20 years, a uh, long time, man. Like, I mean, after the long wait, after the, um, the last two weeks, after the key government game, it was great, uh, they were fresh and they were very fit today. You'd wonder whether Kill had the advantage playing consecutive weekends or was it 
to the British advantage to have the three week break what did I you uh, absolutely the thought that uh, Kill had the advantage coming down here today and they made that start they made that start like when they had they had uh, go uh, the pint up in four minutes in 20 minutes and our, minutes. our western final was a uh, relatively easy yes and were uh, you worried after four minutes I certainly was like a goal is worth a lot more than three points this, oh, time, of this time of year you know yes, I mean? yes. and I would say it was going to be a, a low scoring game right? yes 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 but the attitude of the players like that I mean from all from back to from the, the goalie uh, to number 15 like, I mean was so right today uh, centre field uh, I thought controlled the game Great. and centre field is vital in football yes yes you know yes. what I mean but the only thing I would say is that we shouldn't wait for another, another 20 years for another well, championship. What about how will we do about senior pass? I think today, if you had to call it, I mean, you, you'll be hoping that you'll be fourth, fifth or sixth in senior level. So you uh, think they'll more than hold their own? I think there. so, because That's the panel is strong. You know. Yes, and the club is getting bigger all the time, as yes. you know, and extensions going on to buildings and all. You need to be performing on the field, and you have this year. Great year for That's the right, and, uh, and progression, like, I mean, it's a part of progression. Yes. And, and three championships this year is good in any terms. Like, I mean, but that intermediate football had to be won this year. That was the important it thing. It had like, to be I mean, won, you, really. I mean, you could say... Cast you by last year, you yes. lost the county final two yep, years ago. Uh, that's right, you know, I mean, it was a natural thing. And uh, on Christmas uh, uh, Christmas week, or two days before Christmas, like, I mean, it was it was awful important that we finished it on the year. And I suppose people will say conditions weren't ideal for your team today, the kind of football they play. They'd no, maybe rather uh, top of the ground. Uh, I don't mean it like that. Uh, but if, if it was a, a fine day, I would think we would have won the game easier. Like yes, yes, yes. seven wides there on the first You half. had nine wides in total, kill had two. That's, that's right, yeah. Kill never scored from play. No point from play. That's the, the, that's just the, the way, that's the way it goes, we yeah. Far, far Five out of the six bricky forwards scored from play today. Things didn't happen other days, and you know. roll on 2007, I think there is uh, uh, big hope in the season. Thanks, thanks very much, Pat. Will he help him? Will he? Well, what did you think of today? A uh, great game altogether. Very tough and hard, you know. Tough, hard uh, game. Yeah, yeah. Late in the year, conditions uh, suck. Well, there should be no game after the end of November, October, I think, anyway. You know. But I still say you're happy it was played today, oh, not very happy. February. I came from London this morning for it. You came over from London. My God, there's dedication. Well, I come ten times this year for matches. So you have Christmas and you have a good, and you have a good, and you have a good build up for Christmas. That's what. You'll be out for a bit of a night tonight. Well, not drinking. What? No, I'm on the boat going back. No, oh, you're going back tonight. Well, fair Jews, and you, you, it was worthwhile. The last time we beat Kill in the county final was 63. I was only 17 years of age. I can't remember the lecture yesterday. Go away. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, Kill at Monte Gary playing that time. What we year was that? 63. 63, yes. Yeah. Marie talk, spoke about that earlier on. So we had 63, 86, and now 2006. Sure You're on. here 43 years later, and proud to be here. Proud to be here. Proud well done, well done, and, th you, and thanks for coming. Hi, thank you. And, and another bricky stalwart, you're right, you're right. right? Another bricky stalwart here, Mike. Well, what? Well, how do you feel after today? Oh, great results, great for the club. Long well, time coming, this stuff. intermediate title. Twenty years waiting for this. I suppose the last couple of years have been heartbreaking. Oh, stop! We thought we'd never get it, and especially like with the junior team coming up so strong behind them, like yes, you know, that's very good, we, yes. we needed to to go senior. And how will they do a senior, do you think, Mike? Well, will they hold their own up they there? They should be in the first five anyway. Yes, like, you yes. Know, I'd rate them around maybe sixth at the yes, moment. Yes, like. yes, yes. A bit of improvement, they could get up in the top. They have a lot the of footballers. You said oh, they, they got to the junior Western semi-final this yeah, year with yeah. a complete be different panel of 30. Beaten by Van Corte, like, you know. Narrowly. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, things are looking now. good for the looking, future. Looking good year for the Brickies, too. Other championships I, I, won. I underage going well. You're involved there yourself, yes. Yes. And down along under, t under 10s, under 11s. And that's, what, and that's what's important, oh, that's, Mike. That's what it counts. That's Great what day for the club today. Oh, mighty, mighty article. Busy night tonight, Mike. Thank you, Thanks. Sir. Thank you. Pat Barry, another man there. Pat, well, what are your feelings today? Unbelievable, to be honest with you. You'll have to cry when you think about it. Yes, the way long they, time, the way Pat. They long, long time. Long, bad start. Long, bad start. They fought back. That's the character that's in that, that team. That, that, that turned out today. Great, great character in that team. Yes. Every one of them, two men. Doing their job out there today, like, like one, every one, one of them. A goal is worth more than three ah, points per goal, this time uh, of the goal, year. The goal, the goal, it was a fluky goal. It was a, but it, it, it was a bad start from us, and we had been starting bad all the year. But in saying that, they worked very hard, the team. And that's one thing, and they have made bad starts in the last They have made bad starts. But they've always come against Steve Goode. They made bad starts against against Dungarvan. They made bad starts. But still, they came back, they came back. They're that type of team, they will keep Jews. coming back. You know, they're, 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 they're a good team. You're a stalwart with the Brickies going back well, for a day today. Remember, um, we won it here in 1980. We won it here in 1980. When we 1980 and 86 and 86 again. and Jimmy Cotton and John Joe Sheehan and all them boys playing like Raymond Martin and uh, Bimbo was only a young fella. Yes, Jerry yes. was only a young fella. And like their sons, and their sons are playing there today. Like, and that's... that's that's the strength of our club, that they can keep going like that. Great you stuff, know, Pat. Great. Stuff. Thank, Thank you very much. Pat. Thank you. All
Here he is, midfield. Midfield was a very important place today. They had a big man out there. You, 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 you controlled them very well and you dominated. Well, what kind of a game was it to play? We gave, him, we gave him the first two balls and I said I better put the finger out. Well, he did catch the first two balls and they had a goal and a pint up before we could blink our eyes. They had, yeah. I just... There's a battle all over the field there today, I'd say, and just, I don't know what to say, I'm happy yeah, with you. Yeah, but, but, but you did show character today. We did, we battled from the back. And you show, you battled there till the end. They, they woke us up good and early, and I suppose that was the trail, but behind last year against Ringley. They got no score, no point from play over the hour, kill. No, no point, point from play. play. They got a goal from play, that was it. He had five out of the six forward score today, so that was a big game. You he, 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 he played very well now, well, he's a great character. I the, years, the years we lost out, besides the gold tier game. I'd say it was goals. Began against Balamila, we didn't trail until the last minute of the game, like, you know, in the Western final three or four years ago. Last year against Ring, they got two goals and got one late on, kind of upset us as well, like, so. So you were glad you got the, they got the goal early, not late. That's the one. All in thanks. Have a good night. Here's one of the kill backroom team, Tom, Tom. Great day for the Brickies. I know a bit disappointing for you. They've been a long time waiting. They're 20 years waiting. You're... You were 10. Well, how do you feel about today's game? Or? Uh, absolutely. I mean, in, in no uncertain manner, the best team won today. The Brickies were a fair better football team today. They were sharper. They, were more, uh, they had more of an appetite and they were a fresher team. And that's understandable after the kind of a, of a battle we had in the division, which when we participated in the last, this would have been the seventh uh, weekend uh, playing uh, without a break and I mean uh, how you don't you know if you put yes. out race horses you do not expect to win uh, even with a race horse wouldn't some people that. thought it might stand to you the fact that you uh, not at all no no there's a certain amount that will stand to you but uh, when you were in battles like that we were in the division where we met Bournemouth in the semi-final and after a draw and a replay we were uh, had to play extra time in a replay. Go, go on then and two games against Newtown, and again an extra time in a replay. I mean, you know, they're only humans, they're only uh, amateurs, and I'm not making any excuse, and I don't want to deflate anything about the Brickies' performance. The Brickies' performance today was absolutely top class. We knew the Brickies were a good team. We saw the Brickies, I saw the Brickies myself playing in the Western Final, and they only played with Kilgobbin. Like, the Brickies are a good team. They have been there, they were beaten in the county final. We were, have been beaten now in the yes, county yes. final. But we'll be back. There's no we'll be there's back. No there's no doubt. You've, you've, some fine you've some fine footballers, Tommy, and thanks for talking to us. Not at all. Uh, how do you think Brickies will do open senior? Uh, I have no fear of the Brickies open senior. The Brickies have a we'll team that have moved the ball. Not at all, no, no. Brickies have a footballing team. They have lads that are well capable of holding their own in any company, with the exception maybe of two or three clubs in the senior football. Brickies have nothing to fear against anyone in senior football. And I'll be proud. Right, I guarantee you that, and I wish him the best of luck in senior football. Brickies are like ourselves, a traditional team. Yes, we'd love to see him, strongholds. and absolutely, and it's great to see the game being revived again in two places like Kill and the Brickies. And I wish them the best of luck. Uh, you know, it was a coincidence, I suppose, 43 years ago, we, last time I think we met Brickies in a final, and that 63, was 63 was in senior football yes. county final. And what a day that was for the Brickies, and what a day that was for football as well. Yes, and yes, I think yes, today yes. would have been a good day for football. In the GA calendar here in Wel Welsh Park for 2006, all the football titles this year have gone to the West. With Brickies winning the last one, that's the intermediate football here today on the 23rd of December, two days before Christmas, and a final score. Bricky Rangers, 11 points, kill, one goal and three. So, goodbye from Welsh Park and a happy Christmas and a peaceful New Year to everyone. Thank you very much from Tom Scanlon. Take care.